Uh, today's November 12th, uh, 2018. I'm in Quincy Square. I want to make one comment about uh, my concept of history as I walk around a uh, town I grew up in. I've been through for, you know, quite a long time. I'm in, in between uh, the church that was just at my back, which is the uh, Unitarian church that the Adams family is buried in. Uh, our two presidents, and I think Abigail's in there too. Behind me is uh, the Granite Bank, which was built in 1929. I'm next to City Hall right here. Uh, right here. Old City Hall. Um, I walk around here and I look at a building like the Granite Bank and I can probably come up with 15 different things I think about vis-a-vis uh, -vis the bank, beginning with a history of its being built in 1929. There's church, history. And we're looking down Hancock Street. I'm in Hancock Adams Park. I don't think about John Hancock and, and John Adams when I think about Quincy. I grew up here. This was a place to live and it looked a lot different. A lot of farmland years ago and before that it was the Indians walking around. But mostly the Quincy was a place from, to get from one place to another except for Wollaston area which uh, was a place where some people lived once upon a time. Uh, Indians in the summertime sometimes. I'm in the old cemetery now. Most of the people in here were uh, 1700s, 1800s. Then they closed this cemetery down mostly and uh, used the other cemeteries that were built. When I walk around uh, Quincy, I'm walking around in kind of a whole microcosm of the passage of the last few centuries. And I feel it. And I kind of see it as I walk around. Boston's the same way with me. You know, I walk around downtown, I walk around the common. I'm not just walking around in my time. I feel like I'm in other times too, looking at different people from those times. Um, it's not as true in Europe because I'm not as familiar with it, but I've had similar experiences in Europe. Has anybody noticed my discussion, anything about economic, anything? I mean, there were businesses and people raised families and this and that, but this dialectical materialism, I don't even know where it comes from. Sure I do. But it's really a sideshow, and that's my main criticism of Marxism, is it just doesn't explain the history that I sense walking around in my hometown or, you know, the extended city of Boston. It just doesn't. But religion explains to a lot of people what it is they sense about the past as they walk around, and some of the stuff that's current. A lot about the past. Marxism doesn't have anything other than dialectical materialism and atheism to help you figure it out. It's junk. Someday we'll look at it systematically, but I figured I'd put this online today.